Tonight, we get a unique look at some of the most daring firefighters in the country, smoke jumpers. We hear about them every summer, but rarely do we get to see them in action. Well, this video shows a team as they get on the Himes Park fire near Meeker last week. Jeff Todd in Lakewood Forest tonight. And Jeff, this video is amazing. And you had a chance to talk with one of the most experienced smoke jumpers in Colorado. Yeah, Karen, that video came from a BLM smoke jumping team, but because there have been so many fires across the West, it's very likely that they weren't just hanging out in Colorado waiting for a fire. They probably flew for three hours all the way from Idaho to then jump out of a plane here in Colorado and keep that fire from getting out of control. The uh, scariest part is not knowing where you're going. Robert Turner was a smoke jumper for nearly 20 years. My record as a BLM smoke jumper, I had 28 fire jumps in a season. So we had to ask him what we're watching. The spotter's given him a briefing. This is rarely before seen views of a crew heading toward a fire. We have a static line deployed drogue, so we'll jump out and that it'll pull out that static line will deploy our drogue and then we'll have a free fall under the drogue for about five seconds. Seven jumpers attacked the Himes Peak fire last week. And now he's under his canopy. He was just trying to plummet his riser turn to get to lose um, elevation because he's trying to get vertical separation from his jump partner. The jumpers try and get as close to the fire as safely possible. It doesn't look like there's a lot of good spots closer to the fire because of all that down timber. So that looks like a good spot. He's going to have to cross that creek somehow. So now he's facing into the wind, slowing himself down, and he'll do, try to do a little bit of a flare to have a soft landing. The jumpers carry enough supplies to last three days. Tools and other equipment are dropped after they're on the ground. Watching this, does it make you miss it? Yeah, I've missed it all season. Just. <laughs> Just amazing to see that video. Now, the Himes Peak fire was probably started by lightning, but because of those incredible crews, it only grew to about 100 acres and now is 100% contained. Reporting live tonight, Jeff Todd covering Colorado first. Really amazing. Jeff, thank you. Now